Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel and oh my gosh guys, I am super super excited because I think I just found some surprise pennies. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it's a free way that you can help your girl out. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, deals you want to share, or if you just want to say hello, y'all know I love hearing from you. So please leave me a comment down below before you go and also take a minute to share this video with somebody that you know so that they can get in on these deals as well. All right, guys, let's jump right in. All right, guys, now I want to start off by saying I am no expert at penny shopping, but there are a few general rules that you have to follow if you want to start penny shopping, okay? Rule number one is to never, never, ever, ever ask the employees for penny items. Rule number two is to go into the store and look for the items that I'm about to show y'all in this video. You want to make sure that you have your Dollar General location set to the correct store in your app. Then scan the items if you see them and make sure that they are scanning at a penny. So it'll either show up as 0 0.01 or 0, .00. Now, rule number three doesn't apply to all penny items, but since we're going to be talking about food in this video, um, anytime that we have penny items that are medications or foods, you always want to check the expiration date because if that item is expired, the Dollar General employees do not have to sell you that item. And rule number four is my own little rule that I made up because I want y'all to check out the description box down below this video for more information about penny shopping. So in the description box down below, I have linked the Dollar General couponing policy, the penny policy, a few articles and videos that talk more about how to penny shop, learning all about penny shopping, all the ins and outs and all of that good stuff. So check out the description box down below this video for more info. Now, let's go ahead and jump into these deals oh my gosh guys i am back home i just got home from dollar general and look what i found a bunch of ice cream and all of these were just one penny now i want to start off by saying i'm not a big penny shopper i don't follow the penny list really closely you know if a video pops up in my feed i will watch it um but I haven't seen anything about these ice creams that have pennied, so uh, I'm pretty sure that these are surprise pennies because I did watch a few videos about the clearance that was happening on Tuesday and like all the markdowns that we were having on Tuesday, and I didn't see anywhere anybody said anything about these ice creams. So, um, so take that into consideration. I'm considering these surprise pennies, all right? So here's what happened. I went out to the store to grab a bag of cat food, and like I said, the managers normally are really good at pulling penny items, but here lately, we've had some new employees, so a little birdie uh, gave me some information. <laughs> we'll just say, put it that way, and I went back to the uh, ice cream section and started scanning and uh, got, you know, I've got some information for y'all and I found six boxes of ice cream for six pennies. <laughs> so I did make some screenshots. I'm going to give y'all the UPC codes and all of that here in just a second. Um, now, uh, I've already went over the rules with y'all uh, at the beginning of this video and another thing is that this was at an NCI store. So these uh, UPC codes that I'm about to give y'all, these pennies are your miles may vary because I did put it into my phone. Actually, while I was in the store, I was scanning uh, these two items here. And um, I actually had my store set to the wrong store and they were still scanning at like $3.50, um, $1.50, whatever. And... Um, so then I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got the store set to the wrong place. So I corrected that. And yes, they were in fact scanning at zero, zero, zero. So that means that it's a penny. Um, but make sure that you have your store set to the correct store. And um, and it was an NCI store that I was at. I'm not sure if that's um, going to be any kind of significance at all. But the store that I was at was a home store or an NCI store. And the store that I originally had my phone set to, which is about five minutes away from me, it is not an NCI store. And their prices were still at $3.50 for these boxes of ice cream. So, again, not sure if that makes a difference or not. But I just want to give you all, all the information that I have. Uh, so... 
Well, as y'all can see, I picked up three boxes of the Vanilla Sunday Cones and three boxes of the Clover Valley Vanilla Bars. Now, there's three more, uh, I think it's three more ice creams that I'm going to show y'all and give y'all the UPCs for. And I do have some pictures of a couple of them. So, uh, one of them is Clover Valley brand and I don't have a picture of those. I think they're like fudge bars or something, but it'll be in similar packaging, okay? But anyways, I just wanted to show y'all my receipt here really quickly just to show y'all these are in fact a penny original price three dollars but at like i said whenever i scanned it uh, at the other store they were saying that they were 350 for these boxes so not sure what's up with that uh, but anyways, all six boxes were a penny each. So super, super excited about that. Now, uh, I don't want this video to be too long. So let's go ahead and jump into my screenshots that I made. All right, guys. So here are the visuals and UPC codes that I have. Keep in mind, this is a your miles may vary kind of thing. So type in the UPC code to your phone to see if they are a penny at your local stores. Now, also keep in mind that the inventory on the app is not always correct. So it may say that they are out of stock. In fact, my store said that they were out of stock, but they clearly still had some in stock. So even if they say out of stock, you may still want to go out and check to see if they are at your store. So here we have the Clover Valley Sunday Cones for count. The UPC code is 0706400222. Next up, we have the Clover Valley Vanilla Bars 12 count. The UPC code is 0706400222229. Now, here's a few that my friend found earlier today, and she was just nice enough to go ahead and give me the UPC codes. Now, she's also going to be sending me some pictures once she gets home. Uh, so, I will update y'all with a community post once I get those, okay? So, we have the Clover Valley 12 count fudge bars the upc code is 0716320101231 keep in mind the packaging will look similar to the other two ice cream boxes that i just showed you all next up we have the drumstick cookies and cream ice cream bars five count the upc code is 0716320102 all right, next up we have Nestle Fruity Pebbles Ice Cream 14 ounces. So these are in the little cups. So the UPC code is 0415489245526. And last but not least, we have the single Twix ice cream bars 3 ounce. The UPC code for this one is 0476774742010. All right, guys, so that is it for me for now. I wish each and every one of y'all good luck. I hope y'all can get out there and grab up some of this super cheap ice cream. And if you do, please come back and let me know in the comment section what y'all find. Now, I also uploaded my Dollar General Clearance Haul video from Tuesday. I ended up saving $187. So if you missed that video, please go check it out. I'm going to leave it linked in the pinned comment down below. And before you go, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so because we would love to have you as a part of our crazy couponing family here. Also, please hit that thumbs up button because it is a free way that you can help me out and it tells YouTube to share the video to some more people. So hit that thumbs up button for me and y'all already know I love hearing from you. So please leave me a comment down below before you go and also take a minute to share this video with somebody that you know so that they can get in on these deals as well. All right, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one.